we decided to sponsor the Transforming Mental Health Summit because we wanted to have our brand associated with such a great name in mental health. The audience is very targeted for us, uh, very senior level. It means that we get in front of people that we don't meet during our one-to-one -one meetings through a year. We sponsored one of the IDG groups because we wanted to discuss digital transformation. We wanted to hear from the people around the table. I think what was really interesting is the optimism about the opportunity for digital across mental health services. Caveating that, saying that there's also a challenge. There's a lot of work to be done. For us as an organisation, it's always helpful to understand what we can deliver and how we can deliver it into a whole system. Some of the benefits that are really important of being part of this summit include meeting so many great minds, actually the leaders of mental health trusts and CCGs in this country, connecting with them and discussing all the important topics that we have to address as part of the new NHS long-term plan. It's just really important that to kind of have that dialogue, being part of the debate, part of those really important topics and connecting with the right individuals that are going to help drive change. This is the first time that we've come to this conference. We wanted to sponsor it to A, be a part of it, but B, to also understand lots of the changes that are afoot, to really get exposure to what that change means and what it looks like, and try and understand how we can play our part in what some of that change is. We've also understood more about the connectivity around performance, about impact, about innovation. So we've had some really good, more than practical illustrations of systems of people working differently, of trying to change what's happening in the system. St Andrews is a charity that's been around for 180 years and it's really there to try and find the areas where others can't meet the needs of some of our most vulnerable patients. So for us actually listening to the real current challenges that some of our greatest leaders across the field of mental health are experiencing really gives us greater insight in how we might work in collaboration to try and solve some of the issues we collectively face. So I think this summit continues to attract senior leaders in the NHS because of the high level of discussion that goes on, the quality of the speakers, and because of that then the quality of the discussions that happen both in the room and also in the networking. We've tried to make sense of different conferences by different organisations. We feel this has been the most relevant, uh, the most potent for us, and the most beneficial. I think we've had a good return on our investment. I think HSJ is a name that's synonymous with being able to tell it as it is. Leaders come to these conferences because we're getting to the heart of the issues that need to be addressed.